hello so in today's video i want to really come on here and talk about dealing with the spirit of doubt and um i guess it kind of also ties into like imposter syndrome um and so right now i'm just kind of doing a series where i really just want to like do like i guess i would say like couch talks with Maria where I just really talk about like the real and raw different things that I've learned, different things that I'm experienced or have experienced in the past. Um, things that are really maybe topics that people don't really want to talk about like that. I'm not sure, but I just, this is like really just like vulnerability, real down to earth truth about life. And so um, I really just wanted to come on here today and talk about like dealing with the spirit of doubt and um, how to deal with it and the emotions that you go through and the, and the process of it as well. So um, for instance, um, I have a testimony of just like, you know, there's, I just, although I'm young and although I know like, you know, things come with time. Sometimes we still like have that question to God, like, God, I see people all the time who are super successful at a young age, who are financially free at a young age. They don't appear to be struggling. They talk about how they were able to land this awesome job to get them a certain amount of money and, and be able to live like financially free. And sometimes if we're honest, it puts us like, makes us feel like, dang, like we work so hard and um, things just still are not happening the way you wanted it to or the way you would like it to. And so if we're being honest, just dealing with that spirit of doubt, like, you know what? Then you start questioning, like, maybe I'm not the chosen one. Maybe this is not what God had for me. Maybe this is not... um what my story will look like. Maybe this is not what my path will look like. Maybe I'll just live a pretty simple life and, you know, all those like creative ideas that I have, all those things that I have put together and I like am willing and ready to put forth and doing things to to have these things actually come to fruition. Maybe all of this is in vain. Maybe I'm not going to be the thing or I'm not going to have the thing or maybe I won't and and it's it looks different for different people you know some people may feel like you know they really want to be married but everybody they seem to meet just seems to just not fit what they're looking for and so then you start to like again question God and you're like God like maybe I'm not supposed to be married. Maybe I'm supposed to live single for the rest of my life. I don't know. Like you you just get to that place where it just feels like it's that process of like first you work so hard, you work so hard, you work so hard to get that thing that you want, right? And then like it seems like no matter what you do, no matter what you do, no matter how hard you fight, no matter how much work you put in, is just not happening for you. And I just really want to come on here really today to just talk about like how the process goes. And so it's really the flesh versus the spiritual, right? So our flesh is always saying like in our mind, in our negative mindset, and you know, our, our question of God is the flesh. It's God, do you really know what you're doing up here? Or did you forget about me? Or um, God, why am I not able to have those things? I'm not for a second asking you to take away from other people, God. I'm glad to see that you're blessing other people, God. But I'm just waiting for my blessings. I'm waiting for my time to come. And sometimes it can get really challenging. But then you also have, and you know, you may be at that place where it may cause you to be like really sad. It may cause you to be depressed. It may cause you to be broken. It may cause you to to really just like feel like you don't want to talk to anybody. You don't want to be around anybody. Like you just don't feel good. You just don't feel like yourself. You just feel like 
you're failing, you feel like you're not, it's just not happening for you, right? So some people, they deal with isolation, they deal with that disappointment and all that thing, all that stuff in isolation. They do better just being alone, thinking to themselves, all those things. Um, And so that's like the emotional part of it. That's the part that you go through when you're kind of just like, questioning and you're like I don't know how this is going to work out for me but then you also have the other side which is the spiritual part and the spiritual part is when we trust and believe in God and we always have to remember that everything that God has set out for us is already in his will so right now just because we can't see it doesn't mean that it's not happening and again it has to do with that faith where is your faith? And I think sometimes those things, these things happen to us and God has those these things happen to us where it's like, mm, uh, we may want to question him or we may want to question our capabilities or we may want to question ourselves and say, are we doing the right thing? Did we really hear that from God or are we making it up ourselves? Like what happens when you hear, you think you hear you know, your life path and, and God's will for you, but you're starting to question it. Like, maybe I didn't hear this. God, maybe I didn't hear it right, right? But it's that spiritual part of just realizing that, wow, like we really are lacking in faith right now. And where do you stand with God? If God never does another thing for us, are we okay? with absolutely having nothing else from God and just being content with everything that he has already done for us and everything that he has brought us through. Um, And so I I really just wanted to kind of break this down because it is two different parts of it. And, um, you know, like I said, we have that, that flesh part of it. That's like, God, where are you? What are you working on? What are you doing? But then you also have like that spiritual part of, Hey, listen, God, like, um, I want to trust and believe in you. Your word says that everything you have ordained for my life will come to fruition. There's nothing that I will lack. Everything that I need, you will provide. So it's like, we have to just keep pushing forward. We have to just keep believing. Um, and guys, listen, I know it's hard. Like, I know it's hard. I know firsthand it's hard because, Sometimes you just may feel like giving up. You may just feel like throwing in the towel, like, you know what? And not, I'm, I'm not saying giving up on life, but just giving up on that thing that you really wanted so bad. And, and, and that's when the doubt starts to kick in because it's just not happening soon enough for us. But we have to always remember that God's timing is the most important timing. There is nothing that we can do. There is nothing that we can do to push God's timing anymore. Whatever he has set out for us, that's the bottom line. That's what it is for us. And so we have to be willing to accept that and to move at his pace. Because if we try to intervene, we can actually end up setting ourselves back. So we can take it the easy way or the hard way. We can take God's route, but we can try to do our route and then end up back in God's route anyways. Because whatever God has set for us is going to happen regardless. And so I just wanted to come on here and really just share this with you um, because uh, something that I'm currently going through and I think it's just important to be honest about the fact that sometimes we do question God and sometimes we do say uh, we do question ourselves and we and we have that self-doubt and we feel like you know we allow our emotions and our mindset and our mental space at that time that doubt those negative thoughts to overpower what the word says and we cannot allow our thoughts our fleshly human thoughts to overpower the word of god it's just not it's just not possible and so um that's just really what i wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about today Uh, i hope that this really reached somebody um just to keep pushing keep going forward don't give up do not give up on your dreams, do not give up, do not give up, do not give up, because that minute that you give up could have been that last step that you needed to take in order to see that breakthrough. 
So just keep pushing forward, guys. Do not allow the flesh, do not allow the negative mindset to overpower what God has already set out for you to do. And if you know that you have heard it from him, believe it, allow the time to play out, trust God that, and have the faith that he will put everything that he has said in his word to your life. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, please, um, you know, leave a comment down below. Let me know if there's anything that you are currently struggling with or have struggled with in the past and you just question like, God, where are you? But then God showed up and showed out uh, greater than you could even imagine. And I think that that's a great just testimony and encouragement to anybody that may be going through something right now where they may be wondering, God, are you really with me? Have you given up on me? Am I even hearing from you or am I hearing my own voice? So that's just all I really wanted to come on here today and share. Thank you so much for watching. And again, don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.